Hi, a very good evening to all of you. So today with us, we have Mahima Singh, who has got into D school uh, for the academic session 2024-2025. Welcome, Mahima. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. I, uh, so, uh, Mahima, could you first elaborate on, on the entrances that you gave and all of how many uh, universities and college you have got into overall? Actually, so I uh, didn't give much interest because my priority was set like I wanted to go to DSC uh, at first. So I never, you know, prepared for any other college. So and also I uh, gave IIT gate and IIT jam and also secured like uh, hundreds uh, ranks in that. So that's pretty good for me because I wasn't prepared at that time. And also I uh, got into Gokhale because I only, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, so, uh, fulfill my uh, name in that list. So yeah, I also applied to that list. So uh, yes, I got into that till now. And I'm also, uh, you know, uh, sure that I'm getting admission in DTU and Ambedkar because uh, my uh, preference that I'm, I want to take admission in Delhi only. So yeah, my preference will be uh, BSE only. Yeah. <laughs> now that, that's obvious and straightforward because at this stage, many students have dilemma whether to go for D school or not. And especially I tell all of them that if from day one you had a dream of D school, then please stick to that. There is no need to discuss with others what do they feel about yeah. Delhi School of Economics. So great, superb. And of course, Gokhale has to be on the list of every student because yeah. they were the first institution to come up with the cutoffs and also that was yeah. very reasonable. So great, great. Actually, I just wanted to uh, know like where I'm lying in that, whether I'm lying in that list or not. That's why I, uh, you know, applied in that list. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even. Great, great. That's, no, that's absolutely fine. That's yeah. absolutely fine. Okay, so uh, like you mentioned, you did give JAM and uh, GATE exams as well. So how did they uh, help you? How did they set up a benchmark in terms of the coming exams, especially the one that you have were waiting for, which was CUET? Actually, I was very sure that I want to, uh, you know, give CVT uh, very seriously. And I wanted to, you know, experience that environment, like I'm sitting ah. for two hours. And that was pretty, uh, you know, uh, important for me. And I uh, gave IIT gate and IIT jam that, for that reason only. And I don't know, uh, like my friends were, you know, uh, much prepared than me in comparison to me. But uh, I got, you know, uh, good ranks uh, better than them. So, okay. yeah, I think uh, that helped me a lot and uh, other mock papers that you practice on your uh, hand, that also helps a lot. Great, great. Okay, so uh, coming to the fact that how how in particularly we have designed our CUET course structure, we always emphasis on the in-depthness of that course along with, of course, the quality of lecture is there, but the amount of papers, questions, assignment, not only from the practical point of view, but from, let's say, Indian economy point of view, or let's say, dev, public. So how did you go through that, the entire uh, structure? Because I know Mahima was among some of the students who were always uh, on her toes when it comes to doubts in terms of uh, going through the content and that. So Mahima, what's your take in that the structure? Actually, I joined at the point like in December or after that. So I didn't uh, get much time to, you know, see every video but uh, yeah ma'am used to teach us from very very basic whether it's you know practical subject or a very theoretical subject and uh, she was very sure that uh, i'm going to teach ev uh, my students everything whether it's from a like a to z everything she taught us like literally whether it's from public finance whether it's from uh in economy she uh you know i won't say that she didn't leave any stone unturned she has given a uh, hundred person and uh, like of uh, uh, that series questionnaire and uh, i think uh, it's about 1000 to 2000 questions that right. you provided that also helped me a lot because uh, i think uh, these entrants these entrances are more about you know practicing questions rather than you know revising and uh, going through the concept again and again but i think if you're practicing the questions at every level then you can uh, clear uh, each and uh, every paper you know so yeah uh, ma'am also you know you have developed the uh, 
whole structure the way the way we want the way it is comfortable for all of us to approach as well and uh, even when i wanted to you know see one topic you know sub topic of that topic so i could uh, you know access that any time easily and um, the portal was also you know fine as per my specifications great great thank you so much for that mehima and uh, the other day i was having a with uh, one of your classmates as well so she highlighted about the doubts that were taken at around 2 or 3 in the night as well when you guys were yeah. on stage i never you know i uh, never studied that long because i, I used to sleep like uh, after 12 or yeah. i never uh, walked you know till that but yeah i would say that ma'am used to reply within seconds or within uh, hour so uh, it was really helpful because i was a person you know who uh, wanted to uh who want that answer within that hour only or within that second only so i always used to irritate ma'am or you or sir that uh, sir could you please send this file could you please send this pdf and you were there all you know you say yeah i will send you and it said that so you were always there thank you so much for that no problem no problem so yeah so like uh, when you guys acknowledge like i always tell any any aspirant any student when students acknowledge the effort of uh, of the faculties and the team it further motivates us to to you can say handle even more doubts and queries in future for sure for other students <laughs> yeah sir but uh, to be honest uh, the ma'am the way she used to you know uh, type uh, that in that you know that in the group as well no one actually does you know that chatting and all but she used to do that and i'm very glad that uh, i joined at a point at very you know right time great great okay so mehima according to you uh, what should be an ideal strategy for the student who's only targeting let's say cuet and because uh, igdr is there d school is there and jnu is there so majority of students have that tendency ki i'll i'll just go for cuet attempt so what according to you for you was an ideal strategy or what would you suggest for the students this year sitting or the next year actually eventually uh, cut has grown a lot it's not only an entrance but you know a dream of every student to be in the college they want because uh, now i think uh, except isi every college is under you know cut oh. every major institute is under cut exam so i would say that uh, means it uh, it has grown a lot in it has grown a lot of importance to us um, for students as well so yeah i would say that um, first thing first i would say that please be regular in your studies like whether it's uh, live classes or anything please uh, uh, do ask your doubts first among your friends and then your batchmates and then uh, please approach teachers as well because that actually helps you can't you know avoid your doubt that i will do them uh, tomorrow i will pick them up before a month it doesn't work because you have to you know revise everything before that so you won't be having you won't be having time for that and second i would say self study makes a difference because live classes are, uh, is attended by every student uh, like your competitor and everyone but self study makes a difference so i would rather say please be regular in that and third i would say please revise and give mock papers because i used to give you know mock papers regularly three to four months i uh, i uh, gave them like three to month four months i gave them and I, it actually helped me a lot because uh, i was the person you know who used to uh, see the ranks re- relative to other persons and companions so even if i bagged you know first rank in that i was like no i am lacking somewhere i want you know this marks to go beyond 200 so i was always used to aim with uh, that and you know uh, i used to give mock for only once like if i gave this mock i won't repeat it but yeah if i if i have doubt in that particular mock paper i will practice them and practice them like 1000 and four times that i won't make any mistake uh, in the future actual exam right yeah Correct. Okay, so again, some 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 factors are pretty common in uh, all the strategies. One being the consistency from day one, or whenever you wish to start. There is no hard and fast rule that you need to start from June or December or midway. The moment you start, it has to be consistent till the day of exam hall. You come out of that. Yeah. Okay. Secondly, of course, self study. Uh, whatever is being taught, that is one thing. but you have to do it on your own as well mm-hmm. that is very crucial 
without a doubt. And of course, the purpose or the agenda of the mock papers is nothing but to make sure that you practice not only any random question, but quality question. Yes, sir, so, actually it prepares you for that environment. Like, uh, I used to uh, give the paper and, uh, you know, uh, sometimes it was very difficult, like, uh, as per the CVT requirement. Huh. So I used to think like, let's leave it. It's, it won't come. But no, I was like, no, I will give it again. And this time I won't leave it in between. Okay. Like, and that said, because what if uh, CUT exam come came that difficult? So what would I do? So I used to sit like uh, four to five hours more on that and give, give that paper. So yeah, even, even ma'am told once ki, uh, just maybe rat ko aapko hai, to rat ko whenever you feel ki no one will disturb you, just give it in one shot. No yeah, need to take break. That. Haan, I used to give it in the uh, midnight or uh, something. Exactly. That, that is the entire agenda. Great, great. Okay, Mahima. So, uh, what, uh, how, how much excited are you for D-School? I know, like others, you must have also heard a lot of things. Pros, cons, comparison, everything. So, are you keeping your mind clear of all this? And like the goal you had from day one, it's still there, still positive, still optimistic. How is it? Actually, I heard about D school from one of my seniors and its curriculum. And one of my professor used to say that, uh, you know, it's very easy to get in D school, but it's very difficult to survive it throughout. So I don't know why I'm such a person that I always used to, you know, take such challenges. Like, I'm, okay. oh, that's not the thing. I'm going to get through it and I will show you my report card and all. Okay. So yeah, that was one thing that is funny type, you know, but it's also known for its placement. And also, uh, it prepares you for London School of Economics, and it means it provides you with that similar environment. And I, uh, I have this dream to you know pursue some sort of education from uh, London School of Economics. So yeah, that was uh, my dream, and I don't know, DAC intrigued me a lot in that way. Great, great. So I guess uh, my next question was uh, about that only. So what are your future prospects? Like corporate, because it offers a good placement with good companies, MNCs, or something uh, in the government sector, let's say civils or RBI or the research PhD one. Actually, uh, I am not sure even till now. I'm even, you know, exploring things. I have, uh, I have been doing an internship with research uh, and to be honest, I haven't, uh, you know, uh, uh, find it to be yeah. my level. And uh, yeah, but I want to do PhD in economics because I want to go in the prof a professor line in teaching and academics. Yeah. But I, uh, you know, uh, I might uh, sitting uh, at placement at DAC, I might end up there. So I'm not really sure, like, what will I do? That's okay. That's okay. At this stage, uh, I also want all of you to enjoy the moment and start your journey fresh. And meanwhile, maybe down the first year, you might be able to think a bit on what exactly directions you wish to. Great. And actually to add up, I'm also horrified, like in the way they say that BAC is very, you know, uh, you know, serious in its curriculum and all, it's very strict with its curriculum and all, its professors and all. But yeah, I know I will, I will be able to do it. Yeah. So you have that uh, go-to approach uh, yeah. mindset. So definitely you'll be able to sail through it. No doubt about that. So thank you so much, Mahima. Thank you so much for your time. I know, especially when you are inter doing internship, uh, it's a bit busy schedule to take out time that actually even enhances uh, your, uh, your acknowledgement. Thank you so much, Mahima. And we wish you best of luck. And of course, like for all our students, we are always there to help you, guide you, mentor you at any stage of life. Thank you so much. It means a lot, sir. Thank you so much for your help, too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.